In this video, we'll discuss location groups, which are logical groupings of locations where you perform similar tasks. For instance, you may have a list of all your favorite florists in your area, or you may list all the grocery stores you like to shop at. To manage your location groups, we tap on the pin icon to go to the saved location list. Right now, it's showing the locations I've marked as my favorites. To view my location groups, tap on the title bar and select location groups. I currently have one location group saved, which are the Walmarts in my town. You'll notice I have three locations saved to this group. To add a new location to the group, I can select one of the five icons at the bottom of the screen. The first one allows you to search for a business or general category. The second one allows you to enter in an address or intersection. The third one saves your current location. The fourth one allows you to select a contact from your phone's contact list. And the fifth one allows you to select one of your previously saved locations. So let's go ahead and do a business search and find another Walmart to add to this location group. And we'll go ahead and choose this one. And we're going to swipe backwards in the gesture area to add that new Walmart to the location group. To save the location groups, swipe backwards again in the gesture area and go back to the location group list. To add a new location group, tap on the plus icon and enter the name for the location group. So let's enter in DVD stores. Now let's tap on the new group and add a few locations to this location group. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the star icon and go to my location history. And let's go ahead and choose Target. Now Target has been added to the DVD stores location group. Now let's also, let's also go to the contact list. And I just happen to have Circuit City saved as one of my contacts. And let's pretend for this demonstration that they're still in business and they're still selling DVDs. And we're going to go ahead and add Circuit City to our um, DVD stores location group. And let's add one more. We'll do a business search. We'll search for Best Buy. We'll add that one to our DVD stores location group. Now I'm going to swipe backwards in the gesture area. And I've gone back to my location group list. And all three have been saved to the DVD stores location group. So now let's go ahead and, and use our one of our location groups in a geostring task. So I'm going to tap on this icon to go back to my geostring list and then tap on the plus icon to add a new geostring. So let's say we want to buy the new Harry Potter movie the next time we reach any of our favorite DVD stores. So let me enter in buy Harry Potter movie and let me tap on the star icon and go to location groups and with one tap of the DVD stores item here I've added all three locations to the geostring Location groups allows you to save time. Instead of having to enter in Best Buy, and enter in Circuit City, and enter in Target, I can go to my saved location groups and just enter in all three with one easy step. So now, anytime I reach any of those three locations while I'm driving around town, it's going to come up with an alert pop-up and remind me to buy the Harry Potter movie. So let me go ahead and save this geostring, and it's been saved to my geostring list. Thank you for watching this video, and please check out the rest of the videos in the Geostring Guide video series.